This is a mystery painting series that will slowly reveal the mystery painting from Diamond Art Club done by Abraham Hunter. <laughs> Not Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Hunter called Secret Garden. So if you have this painting or are trying to obtain this painting to do for yourself, please click out of this video as it will slowly reveal the painting. shiny happy people welcome back to the mystery series this is Kimba's crafts my name's Kim and if you're new here hello welcome um, and if you're back thank you for coming back guys I appreciate it I appreciate all the love um, so if you are completely new here this is a mystery painting series. Um, this is the fourth episode. For every square that I reveal, there will be an episode and then there's the unboxing and the, pr the preparation of this canvas. And there is a playlist for that. If you wanna hop over to the playlist and start from the beginning, you can. If you just wanna start here, hey, I hear ya. So these are the squares that we've revealed. We revealed number, well, the first one we revealed was number 28, and then we revealed number 21, and then we revealed number 31. Why am I having a hard time saying that name, that word revealed? Anyway, so, um, hmm, what was I going to say? Okay, so we got like a purple bush over here that's running into some red flowers, and then we have a pathway, it looks like. I'm not really sure what this is, maybe... I don't really know. I don't know if it's, if we're going to find out. And then some flowers shooting up here. Gorgeous. And then some trees. And I believe like the sky is poking through. So, yeah. So, um, and, and I left the hangers on because I just wanted to show you. I do, I, I've been hanging because I have three whips at the moment. So for space reasons, I hang them. And just because Honestly, I've been clearing off my countertop every time I'm done diamond painting just because I I was keeping a painting out on the counter at all times. And like, it's just nice to have a nice clear counter when you come home from work or, you know, if anybody wants to sit down and eat and watch TV, like, it's just nice to have the nice clear countertop. And then you know, I wipe it down every time before I put the canvas back on. So I know it's getting cleaned every day. So there's that too. So I just left the hangers on. I get these hangers at Walmart and I love them. They are so strong. They're super strong. And they are, they do have um, like a little rubber grip here. Uh, and these are my preferred hanger now. Um, they do leave a little mark and let me show you, I'm going to show you. So I, I believe they're either $2 and, and change or $3 and change. So I don't know if you can see, I can't even see the mark anymore. There's the mark. It's very, very faint. So that's all it does. That's all it leaves. Um, and it's very strong. So, so far, like no matter how many diamonds are on it, because I do have a finished painting hanging up with these, it's able to hold them. Where these types of hangers, I just, they don't hang as well. Now these don't have, I, I think some of them do have rubber in them, but you know what I have been doing in order to get these to really hang better is I would fold a pillowcase behind it just to have more to grip on. And that has been working too. It's just a little more cumbersome to use. So if you have these and you feel like they're not holding your painting, you in you add a towel like a light uh, like a hand towel or a 
pillowcase across it. Like I would lay a pillowcase across the back of it and then um, pinch the pillowcase and the canvas like that. Um, it does hold it a lot better, but it's just more work. So for less than $4, these, a pack of two work great. So just, if you are a, a, a hanger, if you use hangers, I just wanted to give that little tip. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the business. We got the wheel. That's gonna name our feet here. And let's click. Cool. Jeez, with that, with all that flickering, I couldn't even see it at first. 38, okay, where is that? Oh my goodness, right below it, yes. So maybe we can make out exactly what is going on here. All right, cool, that's gonna be fun. Yes, all right guys, you know the deal. I gotta shut you off for a minute and um, get you set up, hold on a second. Okay, guys, actually that did not take as long as it usually takes me, so pretty happy about that. All right, let's see what we're working with here. We're doing number 38, which is right below the square we did last week, which is exciting. And this is lined up perfectly. And this is lined up almost perfectly. It just, it just pulls up. I'm just gonna straighten these bottom squares just so that, uh, have to just tilt this one just a tad just ever so right okay there we go that works and then this side. <laughs> oh, and I got my nails done. <laughs> Yesterday I was like super busy. I actually got zero diamond painting done. I hate to say that. I, um, it was my day off and I was like super excited about it but you know family obligations and all that so I did get to see my kids I took them and their boyfriend their significant others boyfriend and girlfriends out to dinner so that was super fun but I got to see all four of them um, um because everybody, you know, is so busy with work and everything, school, getting the schedules all together to coordinate is, is hard. So when it happens, you take advantage of it, no matter what you had planned, right? And then Bob and I went and saw Dr. Strange. And uh, it was good. It was good. I, I love the superhero movies. I love Marvel. There was a couple. I'm not going to do any spoilers here. I can't stand spoilers, but um, as I spoil this mystery painting for all of you. <laughs> um, but I, there, there were some things that I just felt could have been left out. I didn't really like too much about, about it. And then, um, I, I, you know, you know, you're getting old. You when, you just prefer everything to be happening in your own living room. Uh, can anybody feel me on this? I mean, I, you know, you spend what sixty plus dollars to go to the movies, and um, it was freezing in there. I should have brought a blanket, but I didn't. I had long pants on and a hoodie. 
even though it's warm outside and I was still the entire time, I was so cold. I was like holding myself. And even though I went to the bathroom right before the movie started, literally at 20 minutes to an hour in, I had to go to the bathroom again and you can't pause it. And I, uh, I had to sit there freezing, holding my, you know, bladder. And I was just so uncomfortable the entire movie. And I just kept thinking about my electric blanket and my bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, was this really worth $60? getting old and you just want everything to be happening in your own home <laughs> the movies all of it just all of it happen in your house because that's where it's comfy okay so we are going to I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to start with and I think I think I know I'm going to do L which is more brown. So how's everyone today? Honestly, this isn't gonna be a whip and chat, but I do hope everyone's having a good week. This is day two of my three day off stretch. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is day three, that's right. I pretty much lost yesterday, um, you know, due to spending time with, not, not lost, but diamond painting wise. Um, I got, except for doing that, you know, uh, budget friendly video, I did no diamond painting, no actual diamond painting. And, uh, yeah, I was in the gym at one o'clock in the morning up until I got home at one o'clock in the morning because after dinner I had to, I still had to go to the gym because I went and got my nails done. So I did get some stuff done that I needed to get done, which was, I, I desperately needed to get my nails done and they were so bad. I get dip, even the lady, my, I didn't go to my normal lady and, um, I went to her this time because I, I wasn't going to s schedule unless she was there. And when she went to take my my dip off from last time, they were so bad. She's like, oh, did you get gel last time? <laughs> I'm like, no, but they look like gel, don't they? Because gel doesn't last as long as dip. And she's like, this is dip? And I said, yeah. And she's like, oh, they're terrible. And I, <laughs> I'm like, I know, I was, I was pretty unhappy. They started to fall apart like within two days of getting them done. And she's like, where did you get them done? I'm like, here. But she asked me and then she leans forward and she whispers, who did it? And I'm like, I don't even know. I didn't know the, the lady's name. Plus, I wasn't going to, I don't know, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but so I saw Diamond Art Club is releasing two more mystery paintings. They're, they're really releasing these mystery paintings all of a sudden. Like I thought that they, that it was once a month, if, if at all, when I first started doing this. Um, I don't plan on getting either of these mystery paintings. Um, because at this point I have this one and three others. And we can see how fast I do them. <laughs> Also, I don't know, I, I'm, I have the princess along 
announcement from uh, Emeralds and Fairy Lights uh, uh, queued on my TV. I'm going to watch it when I time lapse you guys. Um, I'm just not sure if I'm going to do another event or if I'm just going to work on this and the Unicorn Kiss for a month. Just because, um, like, with the Beauty and the Bear, I'm, I'm doing the Beauty and the Bear from Lola Ro Rose for the hashtag uh, Run Free DP Along. And I didn't even make the third week progress pick because of everything that I've taken on at this point. And... So I feel like maybe I should just take a month of not doing an event and work on these two canvases. I think that that would be better, but I don't know. I'm going to listen to this because I do have a canvas I can use for it. that I really kind of want to get done to. But, I mean, at this point, I probably have a canvas I can use for any event. I mean, am I kidding? And did you guys see that Diamond Painting Deutschland, if you didn't know, um, they released a coupon code to order for 10% off. If you're not part of their Facebook group, um, I think it's, I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the description. If you're not part, if you don't have Facebook, like I totally understand that. <laughs> um, and I will put the coupon code. I, I, I can't, it's actually not, for some reason, usually when things are written in German on that page, you can click see translation. And for some reason, it's not giving me that option. And you can't copy and paste a post. So like I can't even copy and paste it in Google translation. So Actually, I wonder, you know what? I did delete an app called Translate off of my phone. I wonder if I did that, if if that's why. No, because there's other, there's other posts on there that I have been able to translate. The only, like, it has this big sign that says sale. And then if you look at the writing, it's in German, but you can see, um, the coupon code, I think it's Bluemex 10, and then you see 10%, so I'm, I am assuming all of that means, you know, you can use this coupon code for 10% off. Um, but I, I could not copy and paste it to translate it. So, but I will go back and verify the coupon code and put it in my description for you guys in case you're interested in getting anything from Diamond Painting Deutschland because I don't think they have sales or coupon codes or affiliates. They, I have not been able to find an affiliate. If anybody knows of an affiliate and they have a code, if you wouldn't mind putting it in the comments, I would appreciate that but I don't think that they do. I haven't been able to find one. Um, so I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to order anything and use this, this to my advantage because I know that I'm going to order the new Josephine wall and you know, the shipping is expensive, so. Am I really gonna save any money if I order and ship twice? I don't think so. So I'm kind of debating on that right now. But if you guys 
want something else from them and you're not interested in getting a Josephine wall, but you know, or whatever, there's you don't care about the shipping and you want some stuff now, you might want to use that code. So I'm still using the Amazon pen. I have been looking at pens. Um, and I'm still using glue dots in both my single and multi-placer. And I just love it. I love the glue dots. I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday for the first time and they did have some Diamond Art Club in there. They had a couple Chuck Pinsons. They had one that I would have bought, but it was actually more money in Hobby Lobby than it was listed on their own webpage. And I couldn't find a coupon code for Hobby Lobby. Like an in-store scan this, so I didn't buy anything. And they didn't have anything that I couldn't get on their website, so I didn't feel like it was worth it. And they were they were painting they were Chuck Pinsons. They were paintings that I wouldn't mind having, but you know I, I would only buy if I felt like I was really getting a, a huge deal on them at this point only because there's so many paintings that I do want. But I did get a couple things though. Um, I found these three by four jewelry bags. So I wanted to see, they felt very thick, kind of like the ones that I got from New Craft Day but a little bigger. So I wanted to see if they would fit as storage. So I got a pack of those. And then I got this, I'll show you guys. Cause it was on clearance. this. So you see it was on clearance for $7.99. I should take this off. <laughs> can, I, can I do that? Yay! Sorry. So it's on clearance for $7.99 and this is what I did with it. So I, all the paintings that I've opened, my husband opened, I put the pens that came with them in here. I just and then I bagged all the wax, the different wax in here. And then here's, you recognize some of these washi tape? Washi tape, and then I have two cover minders so far. Actually, I have three. Let me get the other one. to each other. So three cover minders and then these are tips. So I have tons of tips. And you know the plastic don't last they don't last forever for sure. So there's more bags and bags of tips. And then my stickers so far. And these are more tips. Um because they didn't fit in here. But I have the metal tips, I, I I was using the metal tips. I don't know, I, I probably just go back and forth depending on my mood. And then tweezers, Diamond Art Club, Star Ore, Diamond Painting Deutschland, 
And then I don't know where these came from. They're pretty cheesy. And wax storage, my macaron. And then just diamond dots. Wax containers, DAC. And then this one, I forget where this came from. Is this Lola Rose? Oh, I should put a magnet on it for my trash. It's so cute. But I just put it in here for now. And then I have an, an opening. So that's what I did with this. I'm thinking about getting another one. For $7.99, I thought this was great. It, it's actually really big. It just looks small when it's zoomed in like that, but it's pretty big. So I got that. And then I got these bags. These bags look huge. size of my tray here so um I'm hoping that oh, good luck getting that back in there Kimba so it's just, just I think $3.99 I got these for um $3.99 for 150 bags so I like that how heavy they felt Oh, and I got these two things. Liquitex high gloss varnish. And I'm going to seal the special projects that I've been getting and just some brushes. So this was $5.99, but they were having anything fine touch was half off. And then the Maj Paj brush. So, yeah, I got that stuff. So when I actually sit down and do one of the special projects, I'll seal it and show you guys. Ow! I'll show you guys the end result. So, I did that, you know, it was funny because um, where they picked to go to dinner, right in the parking lot, was a Hobby Lobby. And I've been dying to go to this Hobby Lobby. So that kind of just worked out. Um, every time I'm off, I'm like, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby to check it out. And every time I'm like, no, I really don't want to leave the house. <laughs> so this time, I was already in the parking lot. So it was very convenient. Um, yeah, I got all that stuff. I think all of that cost less than $25. So I felt like that was a score. And with the bags, I feel like you don't know when you order them online how thick they're going to be. So if they're going to be thick or thin or... And they they may be too big for my box. I don't know. We'll have to see. But all right. Oops. I think I'm going to time lapse you guys now. I'm going to watch this video from about the princess along. And that's another thing, like, I, I haven't been even trying to get prizes. Like, I'm, I'm, like, confused sometimes on what videos I'm supposed to be watching and, like, comment on and, and go back and, like, watch it. And I've just been so busy, like, I, I just don't know if 
I can even do that or should even stress myself out about it. So, all right guys, enjoy the music. Searching, pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man. I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning. I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it. This society is really trying me. Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety. I need my space, I need my privacy, I need some signs. Please, you're all too loud, you don't speak quietly. Opinions violently thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous. It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning. We can make a turn and start reversing All our minds, we put the work in We got some work, man I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off Find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop If it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all I just gotta get through I just gotta get through I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off Find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop If it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all I just gotta get through I just gotta get through Gotta get through this, life is a nuisance, tied up some loose ends I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass half wish I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing in the red inside a payphone Just wanna break, no I'm not gonna give in, take a last shot, Michael J. Wayne No, I'm not a robot, I'm in my own skin Never get lost when thoughts pull you in I miss the old you, we died with the purpose All the energy around me felt nervous Scared I would pop out fast to the surface Had to cut it off before you made me worthless Torn apart, I've been torn and scarred I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart I'm keeping up my guard, I'm hiding every card I wrote a flush of love, you never know what's hard With a back to the mat, gonna see where I'm at I'ma fight like I'm mad, I'm a piece of the that They can never be me, nice try, but they'll see I achieve everything while they stay salty I I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Gotta get through Small. 
Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back Let's before go. we blew it all I know that things seem bad But they could be much worse There's always someone else Who has a greater curse A greater thirst A hunger, pain, and mercy. Just find whatever you got And try to be thankful first I wanna feel again I need a couple friends I never really understood Just how the story ends But I could feel it's tense Don't know the consequence The volatility of life My only confidence Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way, I I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away So I can be so far from it I wanna find a place Where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself In something that is bottomless Take me back to a place Where I felt at home Take me back to a day When we weren't alone Take me back to an age When the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Okay guys, we're like halfway through and it definitely looks like the path 
right, is continuing like that. I want to say, I'm just confused about these lines here, like this, like why does the, if this is a path, why does, I'm feeling all these, um, what is this? Unless this is a wall. Maybe this is a wall. It could be a wall. Who knows? I don't know. But we're halfway through and got my hair there. Ah. Wonder if there's more flowers here. I don't know. So far, everything I've picked up has been like greens, browns, and some yellows. <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't know. Cause it kind of looks like it's still a path because of the way it curves, but I guess we'll figure out what's going on over here. I don't know. What do you guys think? And then of course it looks different probably in the camera. No, it definitely looks like a path, huh? Yeah, but see, What's this about? That's confusing me. What do you guys think? Like why all of a sudden does the path change if this is a path? We shall, we shall see. Okay, let's keep going.
All right, guys, there she is. Okay, so it definitely looks, I keep finding the ones. There, definitely looks like a path, right? And then these flowers are like shooting onto it. And then this looks like a huge leaf. A little bunch of flowers here. So pretty. That's what I'm going with. But still confused about that kind of separation. Hmm. But I love this. Love it. Okay, so let's zoom you out and we will take a look at the whole thing. Hold on a second. Okay, guys. There it is. So four squares done. I actually went and popped off a couple of these to make sure I didn't do the wrong color. I don't know. I'm sure it's all going to come together when, uh, when we, when we finish more around it and it'll make more sense because it, you can see some of the, hold on, let me bring you closer. can see like some of the lines like it's a cobblestone so it was like well maybe I was supposed to use this dark color I don't know but look at the shine on it so that is the square we did today I'm loving it still a complete mystery <laughs> but I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on your way out and if you want to continue and watch this mystery unfold you can hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and it'll let you know when I upload more videos I am planning to do at least three of these um, square reveals this week so this is one of three. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Keep diamond painting.